Hey Percy, where's Fred? Mm -hmm. You know, he always seems to be out late these days. It's time to show <coughs> Time to show the world that Trollman is a superhero who won't back down. We really can't do an Adventures of Fred and Percy without Fred, you know. Hmm. Don't sulk, I'm sure he'll return. I read in the news... Uh, this article. Broody Ashley Kirby has had her wish for more children come true by buying and raising a lifelike doll. The 36-year-old looks like any other new mum as she pushes baby Finley in a pram through the park. The doll, made to replicate a newborn, even sleeps in a cot in her bedroom next to a wardrobe full of his clothes and she's so loved up with her new arrival that she's expecting another in the summer once she's ordered it. Ashley, who has a 12 year old daughter Becky, was desperate to have another child but her dreams were dashed when she split from her partner. Jobless Ashley, who gets £13,000 a year in benefits, added Seeing Finley for the first time, there was a stronger bond than with Becky. There was an immediate rush of love. I was so tired after Becky's birth I didn't feel as close. The daughter said, I find it creepy. I don't understand it. I don't think Mum prefers Finley, but she can't give me all the attention like she used to. I think that 12 year old has hit the nail on the head. I mean, how can she raise this baby, seeing as it'll stay that age forever? Well, until it rots. I can understand children having these dolls, but a fully grown woman is treating it as if it's real. This woman seriously needs help. I mean, come on, playing with dolls in your mid 30s is just not healthy. Ah, I shall use this as my trollman base of operations. I can plug up a computer here, tap into the phone lines to connect to the internet. I can also have a vehicle in here and I will have easy access to the main road in case of emergency. And... Ah, first, I shall get some new light bulbs. I want to start a new monthly segment called Up and Down. Yes, that. Although the title might change. Here's where I tell you about three things I dislike, three things I like, and one thing I actually love. The first of the three things that I dislike this month is my heating timer. It's very temperamental. It comes on when it likes, and sometimes I come home from work to find that my house is still cold. It's even worse in the morning when I pull that duvet back and that chill hits me. It doesn't always do it, just when it feels like it. This leads me to my second dislike of the month, the cold weather. I'm a summer person. I love heat. I love going to places with sunshine and warmth, like Lanzarote or Tenerife. Right now it's too cold and they say snow's on its way. Yeah, big poo poo. My final dislike of this month is shopping. Now normally I love going shopping but at this time of the year it's a nightmare. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. And it's not just for presents, it's for grocery shopping too. I'm just glad I've got all my presents now because I no longer feel the need to get the biggest shopping trolley fill it with the heaviest goods till it's super heavy and then charge into anyone who gets in my way. Yes, I have shopping rage. <sighs> the first of my three likes this month is a camera that I've been eyeing up and I might just buy it. It's the Samsung PL121. I like it because it not only has a view screen on the back as normal but a small one on the front too. It will be perfect for vlogging but we'll see if I get it. The second of my likes is a YouTuber called Kater17. I'm still trying to get through all her videos but she is really funny. Check her out see what I mean. She has two channels, Kater17 and Kater's17 and I shall put links to them down in the book bar. That will be something she came up with. Finally my third like is Star Trek of all things. Well, the original series to be precise. I've been watching them again and I've sort of enjoyed the nostalgia of the series. Yes, the acting is still cheesy, but I'm finding the stories are very interesting. And for those who used to complain about Next Generation never actually exploring any place, so far I've seen the original series doing the exact same thing. But at least with Next Generation you didn't have the constant shouting and the hand gestures when they kept talking like this. 
Okay, finally, the thing that I love. Well, apart from my massage chair. I have to say, I do love that, but... I've mentioned Wheezy Weight before, but one of his latest videos nearly had me in tears, and I almost fell on the floor from laughing. I urge you to check it out. I shall put a link to that down there as well. My question to you guys is, what's your three likes, your three dislikes, and your one love for this month? Leave your answers in the comments below. Hmm... I wonder where Fred and Percy are. Oh well, I have to go now. So until next time, peace out. Um, who are you, stranger? What do you want from Trollman? Wonder if he knows. I'm really his friend, Fred.